Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to make wall jumping for your physics platforms. So, I've already made a tutorial on how to make a basic physics platformer system, and this is pretty much just adding on to that. Um, I've set up the keys, so I've got right, left, and space, just so you can see when I'm pressing them, and basically see how it works. So, I've already got this made. I'm just going to take you through the code. Okay, so we've got left and right movement and jumping. Okay, so now if we go to wall, then yeah, okay, so that, 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 and there we go. So as you can see, it works. Now, um, I've got to tell you, it's not perfect. It works, like it works pretty well, but you know you can have an issue every now and then. For example. If I go up to all like this and press space, then for some reason you launch up. Now I haven't figured out the problem to that yet, but I'm sure someone will. So yeah. Okay, so now I'll just show you how to do it. Okay, so it's pretty much all the same. So you've got static parent, dynamic parent, in the dynamic parent, it's just a collision with the static and collision with dynamic. So those are our collisions. Okay. The player object, create event, step event, draw event, um, parented to the dynamic parent, uses physics with a circle shape. Okay. Ground object is just a box, uses physics, parented to the static parent. And then you don't really need to see the keys, but I'll show you anyway. Alright, image index equals zero, and then with the step it's just that, and that's basically the same for all the keys. And then there's just two image indexes in here, just like that. Okay, so now we're getting to the actual proper code. Okay, so start off in the create event, we set a few variables. So left for VK left, right VK right, and jump VK space. That just makes changing controls easier. Speed's 500, the jump power's 100, and in air equals false. Okay. Sub event is pretty much where it all happens, so I'll make this bigger. Okay. Sound off just basic movement, so if keyboard check right, physics apply torque speed, and if keyboard check left, physics apply torque minus speed to go the other way. And then basic jumping, so if keyboard check jump and physics test overlap, x, y plus y on object ground and in air equals false, then just jump. Okay. And then this is where we set in air, so if physics test overlap, Y plus on object ground, then in air equals false. Otherwise, in air equals true. And this is the wall jumping here. So, if keyboard check right and physics test overlap x plus one y, so this is checking one pixel to the right of the physics object instead of one pixel down, because we already know that it's in the air using our in air variable. Okay, so if that's true and that's true, so there's a wall next to you and you're in the air and you're jumping, so and you've like you're pressing the jump key, then physics supply for no physics supply impulse um X, Y Okay, that's minus jump to like divided by four to like kind of send you out from the wall with the jump, and then this is to send you up. Okay, so that sends you left a bit, and that sends you up. So you're not like just jumping directly up; you jump out from the wall. Okay, and then it's basically just the same with the left, like the other one, except you're going left. So it's f f keyboard check left. Physics test overlap x minus one instead of plus one, um, and then from there it's the same with the rest of that. And then this it's 
it's a minus jump, and minus jump is just jump, and minus jump. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Except with the draw GUI, it's just me drawing in air to the screen just to, for debug reasons. But yeah, that is all the code. Make sure when you put it all in your room, you've got physics world set to true, so just check the little box there. But yeah, uh, that's it. So I'll just run that again to show you for a second time. Okay, so, yeah. Hang on. Okay, but yeah. Um, that's it. Okay, so, hope you liked the tutorial. If you have any requests, send me a message on YouTube. So it can be like literally anything. If I know how to do it, I'll make a tutorial. And I'm not going to ask you for credit or anything. But like, don't get me wrong. Like, getting credit is nice. So if I can, then yeah. But otherwise, like, I don't care all that much. It's up to you. But yeah, I'm happy to help out. So if you need anything, send me a message and I'll see if I know how to do it and I'll just help you out from there. Okay, thanks for watching. Um like, subscribe, comment if you want to. But yeah.